we eat in front of the TV. We'd be like having dinner together, you know, and I started to think things like, you know, has he always chewed this loud or do I just not love him anymore? <laughs> I'm always asking him if he can turn the TV up. He thinks I'm going deaf. I'm like, I wish. <laughs> She's a very familiar face to 9 a.m. viewers out there, and she's got a brand new comedy special coming out next week. I'm here live right now with Erin Hartz. Good morning, Erin. Thanks morning. for coming back again and again. Thank you for having me, and congratulations on your news. Thank you very much. Um, I have to mention the clip that you just aired because, I mean, you're always making fun of your husband. How does he <laughs> feel about this, Erin? Um, He's a really good sport. He's a very big supporter of me, and he definitely takes his jabs at me when he can, so... And your special is coming out next week. This is on YouTube, correct? Yes. But also, it's going to be an album as well. Yes, it will be released on um, iTunes, Spotify, any of the streaming services. But I'm hoping that everyone gets it around the same time in the afternoon on iTunes so that I can be the first Capital Region comedian to chart. You heard that right, okay. Um, now, if people want to tune in, what is the name of your special? Because it's very unique, I think. The name of my special is Uncle Ernie. Why, Erin? Um, my sweet, precious niece could not say Erin, and so she would call me Ernie. <laughs> and so my sister just kind of changed it to Uncle Ernie whenever it was something that I needed to do. And I think it's great. I hope she never learns to talk. I, I hope not either. I hope she just <laughs> continues with Ernie forever. Now, when it comes to the holidays coming up, you are, I'm sure, the iconic aunt, right? Oh, your, in your family? Of Is course. that correct? Yes. Is there any advice you have for aunts and uncles out there where we can do Christmas right? Because I have a ton of them, <laughs> nieces and nephews. Um, I honestly don't go against the parents' wishes. That's Ooh. all I have to say. Like, just find out what they want, what they need, and just get it for them. I just, I mean, she's too young to remember now, so I'm just putting money away for her when she's older, That's when she smart. wants to run away to my house. Now, you're going to also be doing a premiere for your special as well. This is going to be live. Yes, we are, we're not playing the, the show that night, but at uh, UPH in a week, we're just celebrating that it's coming out, and I'm celebrating that by doing an entirely new set of comedy that I wrote. So I uh, got to keep it fresh. Uh, we'll be showing some clips of the special, and then it'll premiere uh, that night on YouTube. I feel like with stand-up comedians, we don't always talk about the background work that gets done. People just think you appear on stage and then it just comes to life, but there's a lot of writing that gets done. How do you do it? What's your process, Erin? Um, I don't really have a particular process. I, I, I think, you know, if you talk as much as I do, you're bound to say something funny. That's just like probability. But I, uh, I try to write everything down as often as I can. And um, just every chance I get on stage, I just try it out. And something that might start out as like a four minute bit will like end up being like a 15 second joke. Hmm. And two, you were just saying that you talk all the time. Yeah. You also are talking a lot more because you have your own podcast, right? I do. I have a podcast called Mistress of None. And it kind of uh, talks about all the different things that I do. I joked around with somebody. They said, you do a lot of things. And I said, yes, but I'm not good at any of them. <laughs> That's not true, Erin. <laughs> well, she's, I, I like to mention this, too. Erin is also a beautiful singer. And you have two big shows coming up. You've got one tonight, Cafe Lena, Cafe correct? Lena tonight, yes. At what time? It's at 7 o'clock. Amazing. And, yes, and then you're joining us this weekend, which yes, is awesome. Yes, I am. We're hosting the Christmas tree lighting once again. We're so excited. And you're going to be there that my, day. My band is going to be playing there at around 1.15 that day for the rock and skate part. So I, I heard you announce it. I was like, well, get another chance to see see the team here at uh, WTEN. Meant to be, Erin. I know. Okay, for people at home who want to check in, either they want to get your album downloaded, they want to go to the event, tell us the details one more time, Erin. Uh, next Wednesday at uh, 7 o'clock at UPH, or if you just go to my website, I will be updating all of the information on how you can get the album, how you can watch the special, and if you sign up for my mailing list, I'm sending out some free tickets this week. Ooh. That's another special thing, too. I watched quite a few of the clips, by the way. She's hysterical. Erin, once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So it's 928. We're going to be back with more news, everyone.